Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you are new here, you are welcome here, guys. I'm just going to start with the major arcanas with the white witch just to see what is the overlying energy for this reading. Spirit will pull the energies of the people that taps on this video, right? If you tap, spirit's going to get you. One way or the other. Holy Spirit, all the answers. Holy Spirit, all the answers. What do you have for the collective, guys? What do you need to see? What do you need to pay attention to? All right. This is the chariot. Movement is being made, guys. Movement is being made. We're just going to take one, right? So there could be some movement going on around you. Yeah. There could be some movement going on around you, guys. All right, this is the Sacred Destiny Oracles. Let's see what this chariot has to do with the destiny, right? Let's see, you have absolutely have something to do with the destiny. What does this cherry it has to do with the destiny spirit? Purification. You're about to get to some sunny days, some bright days. You're purifying some things. You could be cleaning some things in the rain. There's rain coming down, but you're also growing. You could be changing. You're blossoming. All right, Holy Spirit. Wow, yeah, you're transforming. You are definitely in the in the spirit of growth. You're moving. You're definitely moving forward. You could be moving. It's south, you know, you could be moving. When this is truth, you may have to speak some truth to someone. And I guess after you speak your truth, that's going to allow you to move on. Yep, Spirit said when you do talk to this person, Spirit said keep it simple, keep it light as a feather, don't make it heavy on yourself, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Spirit said keep it simple, but it looks like some of you are choosing to move on, or someone is moving to come towards you, and they're choosing to simplify their life and come to you with truth and simplicity. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, for the collective spirit, what do you have? Oh, that's the devil. Let's see what this is before I start going crazy. Because it could be passion or it could be bound to someone. King of Pentacles. Alright, so this person could be married. It's the King of Pentacles. And the Emperor. Maybe you're coming in as the emperor and you're standing up to this king of pentacles who's this devil here. You could be, when it comes to this king, you're all up in your head because it's like you, you could have this passion for this king, but this king is probably married, right? This king is probably married. This is the knight of pentacles. And I believe that's you in the chariot. You're moving on, right? If I, you're thinking about this connection, you, you're thinking about this connection. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Because you want justice. You want things to be simple. You don't want anything complicated. And I believe your King of Pentacles here is married. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Is this King of Pentacles married? I think you finally had to stand up for yourself. Oh, man, I just flipped a whole bunch of cards. You finally stood up for yourself to this king. Maybe you realized he was married or she was married, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Tell us more about this king of Pentecost Spirit. Is this person married, right? Let's see. King of Cups. Either that or this person is coming in to love you.
that's what it looks like. Maybe this person just has so much passion towards you. They're coming towards you. And the King of Pentacles energy, as the Emperor finally standing up, making a decision. They were up in their head like in Hangman, but they choose to go forward. Like in their Knight of Pentacles, choosing to fight anybody that gets in the way. They want this justice with you. Like they want this love with you. King of Cups, they want to be loving. They want to be supportive. But in order to do so, they have to walk away from an Ace of Pentacles. This person is married. They have to walk away from who they're giving all their love and everything else to, right? Yep, and they know that this is going to break someone's heart. Who's really Who's going to get the broken heart, Spirit? Yeah, so this person is trying to protect themselves. Yeah, there's seven of wands energy, they're fighting, there's obstacles in the way. It's a lot of burdens that they're going through. I guess because your person is trying to, your person is trying to move on, or this is you trying to move on, and you're trying to purify things, you're trying to transform out. So you're being truthful to these people, but while you're being truthful, your truthfulness is breaking other people's hearts, you know? But it's almost like you got to break someone's heart to spare your own, right? Either that or you're going to be living in misery. So it's like, what are you going to do? Yeah, Ace of Swords. So this person could already be cut out. Or your person is up in their head about making this final decision. They want to offer you this cup of love, though. But they do have a lot on their plates. They're dealing with a lot. They're dealing with the Seven of Cups. But they're in their Two of Pentacles in reverse. It's like they're choosing you. It's like they want this change. And the change is they're trying to get away from a child's mother and empress. They do want to change. So either you or your person is being truthful about moving forward to something else. But that truth in turn breaks someone else, right? So that's what's going on. Somebody's trying to get someone. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.